Good day, peeps! It's Garfield here, welcome to episode 18 of the Derby Way. Now, I tried in the last episode to keep the video length down, and that seven goal thriller with Stevenage certainly didn't help me on that. So I've come up with a little uh, concoction that I think is going to work. Um, going forward, um, the new format will be three games per episode, as usual. But one game will always be simulated now how i'm going to decide that one game is going to be whichever team is lowest in the league or lowest placed in the league um that's for me i think is the better option just try and keep the videos down as small as uh, small as we can um now i will change this when either one of the following happens we reach the premier league in which case I shall immediately go straight back to the three games, three sets of highlights, mainly because I love the Premiership, uh, like little intros like this. Um, or second, as soon as I hit 100 subs. So if you want to keep seeing the three games and you want it to happen quicker, get the word around, spread me around, share me, do what you do best, guys, and you get me up to that, that magic 100 subs mark and then we shall be back with uh, normality shall we say but for now going forward this is the way we're doing it two games or two highlights one simulation uh, any bits and bobs in between uh, you squad update or you scout report they'll obviously be thrown in they they've got to be it's part of the series and uh, yeah i'm sorry for this um weird introduction that you're probably not used to but maybe this is the way we'll go forward first match every time the introduction will be on this this um little cutscene intro if you like and uh yeah that's how we're gonna go but let's get this first game underway we're at home to wickombi bowen oh caught flat-footed there and oh well he was caught flat-footed and uh, it was a brilliant delivery into the box from Wickham it is 1-0 we'll watch this replay ah uh, Bean oh Mr Bean oh, oh, oh. I don't know here we go let's watch this look oh we just left Bowen he may as well left him on his arse and what a cracking finish really diving in at it and managed to put it into the side netting Poor Romano, the Italian stallion, didn't stand a chance. And Wickham, with their nasty goalkeeper kit, are uh, one nil up. Bastards. Well, we've got our work cut out for us now, haven't we? The FIFA Rust certainly came into play there. I'm not, uh, I've not been playing for a couple of days. And, yeah, I can definitely tell. Pereira does well. Carlson feeds it through. Allen trying to get back with that quick response, but not happening this time. God damn Linquist with stupid fouls. Uh, free kick and it's uh, pretty much straight at Romano so we'll take that. We have not been at the ball game so far. That's one big ball. Can Cox get on the end of it? He will. Oh, and couldn't quite get the ball under control. Whips the cross him. Oh, no. <laughs> the defender, the Wickham defender comes in and tries to put it into his own net. Well, that was... Uh, certainly an interesting uh, defensive style but yeah Linquist Linquist has had some bad games uh, Carlson hasn't been up to his usual standard Allen's back defending this uh, Wickham oh there you go 2-0 uh, we are playing dog shit it's half time there's going to be some right rollickings I wonder if there's going to be a tuna sandwich uh, or a kicked shoe episode in that dressing room because moment the three main suspects 
have definitely been Carlson, Lindquist and Shaw. All three of them need their a foot firmly up their backside because they have played terribly so far. And uh, Bowen there trying to get back and stop that going in. It's at the near post. Such a bad spot to be conceding goals as a goalkeeper. But there it is. It's, uh, it is 2-0. And uh, we find ourselves behind by two for the first time this season. Martin, you need to book up. Oh, he fucking doesn't. Oh, thank God for Romano. Bloody hell, fire. That's a big ball searching for Cox. Cox gets onto the end of it. Just about keeps it under control. Tries to get the cross in and... Uh, oh, that's... Ow! How? How, 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 how? You fucking cunt. Oh, we have played absolutely terribly this first half. Let's hope that... Uh, there's another loose pass from Carlson, picked up by Wickham, and tradition would say that he, they are going to punish us here. Bowen feels very out of place in this uh, first team. It is his first match. Pereira tries to get the pass off. We've got no time on the ball. We'll have the free kick, though. Coming up for half-time, and we need something. We need some sort of... Something to click. Oh, OK, we've not got time for something to click. Half time is coming up. There's definitely going to be three changes. That middle of the park is being fucked right off. And uh, let's hope that we can have some uh, decent play from uh, some of the other lads. 2 0 down. Right, so here we go. We're going to kick off the second half. White has replaced Shaw. And uh, Abeledo has come on to replace Linquist because Linquist has been fucking dog shit. White, oh, can he make a mark immediately? He can, it's 2-1. Fuck yes, come on. Inspired substitutions, lovely bit of skill to go around his man there. And Marcus White, he buries it past the keeper. Keeper gets a touch. Didn't see that in the first time round. Probably because that kit just hurts my eyes. But uh, we are back in there straight from the kickoff. The inspired substitutions in White and Abeledo, even though Abeledo hasn't had a touch yet. And uh, it allows for White to get his seventh of the season. It's 2-1. Come on, boys. Let's get back into this. Um, Wickham. Still looking dangerous. Man over in the middle. And fortunately, Romano will make the save. But uh, when they come forward, Wickham, they do look dangerous. This does not feel like when we played Doncaster. Doncaster felt relatively easy in that respect. Pereira crosses in. It's too close to the keeper. No, it isn't. Ah, it's that man at Allen. I got 24 beers. I'm giving them all to Allen. Allen, the go machine at Allen. Oh, we are back in this. What, though, what's the keeper doing? He comes out. He's, <laughs> he's missed it completely. What a fucking cock. Fortunately for Derby, uh, Head's got that little bit of know-how about him. He just stands there. He's going to head that even if the ball wasn't coming in. 2-2. Two -two. Goal 24 in the league for Mr. Ed Allen. Well, here's Abeledo now. Plays it into Carlson. Carlson was hoping for a run from him. Didn't get it. Allen plays it to White. Oh, he's done his man again. Can he finish it? Oh, it was close. It was close. But uh, pulled the shot just a little bit too far to the left. And, oh, agonising. Could have been in the lead there for the first time in the game. And uh, Wickham, it's not over yet. Wickham still looking to attack. Dying embers of the game. We're now into stoppage time. I've just heard the uh, announcer. And... Uh, Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, Wickham, we've been let off there, we just can't get the ball out, just cannot get this ball out, I know the players are tired, we've had a very busy fixture list, Bowen, Moran, can we not get it away, oh freaking heck, that was a bloody intense end to the game there, we just couldn't get that ball out of a box for some reason, but the game ends, it's a 2-2 draw. Uh, could have been better, but could have been worse. Half-time looked very dull, so... Um, yeah, 
we'll, we'll move on in. It's the simulation match against Luton next. So here's the simulation match versus Luton. Luton are high flying and we've had to put out a weak team. This is a day after, well, two days after the uh, the fighting match with Wickham. So the reserves have a run out. Abeledo and, uh, was it White? It was White. They found themselves on the bench for the match because they had taken part in that game against Wickham. And as you can see, currently it is 2-0. There's the third. Derby have been smashed by Luton. But we needed the, the players fit and ready for the next big game that's coming next. I'll see you in the FA Cup. Well, we are in January. We are in the transfer window. And we have had a transfer offer come in for Declan Alexander. Now, Alexander has been playing really well for the reserves for the most part this season. They are offering us a fee of 440000 now, I'm going to delegate this. I won't bore you with the bits, but I'm going to delegate this. I'm going to try and get the most out of it. I don't want to settle for anything less than half a million minimum. Well, this is a big game feel. Round three of the FA Cup, and we have been given a luscious tie at Anfield against Liverpool. Um, first team are out for this. They, uh, it might be a while before they're playing premiership teams in the, in the, in the future. Uh, the only change made to the Derby lineup, I have taken Linquist out and Abeledo will get the nod ahead of him. Uh, the reason for this, Linquist has been playing like a pile of fucking dog shite. Um, so, yeah, that's that's basically the whole reason for that change. Looks like Liverpool have put quite a strong team out against us if Firmino's uh, starting. Oh, this does look like a relatively strengthy team. We'll have a look in a moment when it comes up. But uh, FA Cup feel, third round. Um, Henderson and uh, Firmino are the, probably the two big ones. They have a fair bench though as well. Um, I fancy a chances uh, if players like Allen and uh, uh, Abeledo, Pereira can perform. Well, we can do something against them. I feel maybe <laughs> confident, sort of. something about playing Liverpool on this game when you hear that walk on being sung it, in real life it's so much better but I don't know it, it, there's something it, you still get those feels those goosebumps even when you listen to it for a game like FIFA and as you can see there's the Derby lineup, uh, unchanged apart from Abeledo our Argentinian centre mid let's get this show underway let's see how long we can hold Liverpool out that we are playing very defensively I want to try and hold them out as long as we can uh, the longer the game goes on the more I fancy me uh, fancy our chances is for me no Moran does well oh and Romano does well too that was lovely and we survived to tell the tale Martin out to Pereira Pereira waiting for the ball Ed Allen now here is Short, plays it in, here's Carlson, has a pop, oh we fucking scored, come on, we are 1-0 up against Liverpool in the FA Cup and it's Magnus Carlson who is the goal scorer, oh yes, oh, Liverpool, it might be seem like we were playing real bitch tactics here, ultra defensive and we're just trying to hit them on a counter attack but we just had a scare down at the other end and we dealt with it tremendously well and uh, this is where the counter attack really comes into play and Magnussen not Magnussen sorry Magnus Carlsen oh what a shot that was on it that's his um, that's his weak foot as well his right foot and uh, but it doesn't matter it wasn't weak there was it it's in the back of the net we are one nil up against the pool come on Derby let's go through this cup oh <laughs> And Carlson just needs to take his time. This is what we're going to do, boys. We're going to take our time with these things. Abeledo, Carlson, finds, Car uh, finds Shaw. Shaw will pull it inside. Find Ed Allen. Ed Allen takes a shot. He's hit the post. Oh, and that was close. That was close. That was nearly two. And Ed. Oh, hello. Pereira. Having to come back to the short pass. But it's half time. <laughs> we are in the lead. Can you believe this? We, Derby County, League 2 Derby County, 
we are in the lead in the third round of the FA Cup against Liverpool. I feel there may be a barrage coming at us in this second half. White. Oh, that's a bad touch. Oh, can Cox get there? Oh, he's close, but uh, Liverpool. How faster Coutinho is on the pitch. That is a worry for a derby. It's oh, a worry for me. For Mino. And, uh, oh, there is the equaliser. I was worried about Coutinho being on the pitch and... Uh, he manages to find the pies, the pies, the pass to Firmino, and Firmino and uh, gets the pass off and in off the post. And it is a goal. It is one-one. It Grujic. Is that how you pronounce that name? Sorry, Liverpool fans. Uh, Grujic. He is equalised for the pool. Oh, it was a good first half, but I feel like there's more to come from Liverpool yet. Oh dear, here come Liverpool. They've just literally waltzed his way through. And in the 74th minute, it's now 2-1 to Liverpool. And it's Grujic again. We just uh, have been so worried about Mane and Coutinho and Firmino. I haven't really focused much on anyone else, but it's... Uh, we weren't. We didn't pick him up. We didn't defend. He just waltzed his way through and beats Romano with a great shot. Oh dear. Well, probably deserved. They've been pushing us well. Oh, we did ever so well. First half ended well. Mane is going to have pace for days. Martin is never going to get there. And I think Romano saved that. No, he didn't. Carlson. Oh, this is beautiful. A little bit of play here. Can we find that pass to White? We can, but he's sort of out physical by the Liverpool man there. And uh, we are in stoppage time. I feel like this is where we exit the cup. Oh, that's a brilliant pass and Mane's pace once again. And it has punished us. Oh, dear. It is 3-1. And uh, Mane's pace, with just Martin hasn't got the pace. He hasn't got the legs at this stage of the game. He, he's knackered. Um, and uh, it is 3-1 to Liverpool. We do go crashing out the court. We have pushed everything forward, trying to get uh, an equaliser. At, uh, well, it is 3-1. Mane has the goal scorer. Uh, it was a good first half from the boys. Uh, and there is the full time whistle we do go crashing out the FA Cup not for the one to try him we definitely gave it all we had and uh, it's uh, unfortunate that we ended up 3-1 defeated 3-1 but that is the premiership class for you the second half a few impact subs in Coutinho, Mane not so much Van Dyke, but it did sort of quell any sort of attacking chance from us in the back there. But no, good performance, Derby. Good performance. Good effort. Well, as you will see here, um, Toby Jackson, he's been neither here nor there. Signed him up from the youth squad accidentally. Said I was going to sell him. Then I decided maybe I won't sell him after Callum Jackson got sold. But. Uh, Bray Wanderers have come in and they they uh, they agreed to pay 160k for Toby so it was a little bit more than what his valuation was so if he agrees deal uh, agrees terms sorry he will be leaving the club he'll be the third casualty it's that time of the month again we have scout reports in and from Japan I mean no faces they don't get signed in at all and as you can see we've got a few of them here but I'm just going to flick through them pretty quickly and yeah no none of those are going to be signed up they are all going to be rejected and from Finland Kartanen has returned a month later and his potential looks pretty diabolical now um, the rest of the players in this report are also pretty shite Finland hasn't been kind to us yet all these players will be rejected and from England, the uh, scout report. We've been scouting Harrison for three months now. We know now that he's a right winger, um, but that potential, even though it's at 90, I don't really like it. Having a flip through the rest now, 
Uh, Reese Davis, very low overall. I'm not uh, even tempted by him. Oh, Sean Davis. Now then, now he looks like he could be a useful little player. The potential 77 to 94 is positive, so we'll sign him in. Have we got anyone else? Oscar Evans, six foot two. Hopefully he'll be a centre back. We'll sign him in and we'll have a look at him as well in the future. The rest of them will be rejected. Right then, we are in transfer window period. And there's a free agent that I was scouting as a centre back, uh, Mazzola, uh, Fernando Mazzola. He's Argentinian. Now his overall is only 60. Um, don't expect too much from him, but I'm thinking he could replace Kodansky at the back um, for the reserves because we were looking at shoring up the reserves. So I'm going to offer him a contract and see what happens. Um, uh, I'll see you um, on the other side of the negotiations. Well. Just before I show you that the fact that we did just get Mazzola um, on a contract, we have had an offer coming for Kovdansky from Crew. Now then, I'm thinking we could sell Kovdansky now, and uh, I'm going to see what we can get for him, and uh, we'll see if he goes in this transfer window. So we're going to sign out this episode. Thank you for watching episode 18 and being on the journey, especially in that FA Cup match with me. To sign out, there's going to be no look at the league table this time. This is Mazzola, uh, who we just signed. Um, I'm going to put it to you, any of you out there, if you would like to have a say in what his appearance is, please leave it in the comments below. I'll be sure to have a look at it. If I like it, or if it has more thumbs up, I will definitely go for it, and we shall see uh, when these pre-recordings are finished, at least. Um, we should see him edited the way you like him. Well, this has been episode 18. I have been Garfield. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked it, please hit that thumbs up and leave the like. If you really liked it, please hit subscribe. And until next time, friends, toodles!